Some people saying putting that over PS2 is just straight heresy. Just for the sake of the video, they did already fist bump, bump him. once, but they're fist doing bump it again. Him. There you go. Okay. That, that has to be the most awkward thing. Just like We're you hold, you hold out for the fist bump. Just like, come on. <laughs> I'm, I'm to, come on, do it. All right, now we're going to start. We got Fox and Sora. Uh, Fawn did play Sora a bit when the, when the character phrase came out, so. I have not seen this matchup, come to think of it. Uh, Yeah, I have not either. If I could say one thing about this matchup, you remember that thing in Smash 4 where Bayonetta kind of took Fox off the side Ear. with forward air 1 2, forward air 1 2, forward yes. air 1 2? Oh, yeah. uh, I know where you're going with this. <laughs> yeah, Sora can do that to Fox in this game. That's so funny. As a true combo? I, it's more if Fox tries to escape, it has, it's something that'll get him killed if he does it. I see. Yeah, because like, you either have to take the hit or just air dodge. Air dodge and then you plummet. That said, um, SBT is not giving Fawn the opportunity for that. Not at all. Looking uh, kind of crispy here. Uh, what comes to the fact there is Fox's speed. You know, most of Sora's aerials, honestly, I mean, what compared to Fox's, they're not, they're not that fast. So yeah. if, if Morty can, like, or SBT can really just maintain a, um, like, ma maintain his composure and c continuously, like, hit Sora before his aerials comes out, it would go pretty well for him. Getting very close to... Well, we're both at kill percents now. Uh, whoa. Okay, I was about to say, if, if that killed the way it did, that would be very upsetting. But the... Yeah. Uh, Power for... Uh, the, I think it's single hit X belt, right? Um, I saw the second hit, actually. Oh, I see. The one, two... Look at that shield. That shield was going down. That said, SBT bringing us right back up, saying, no percent lead for you. You're not getting it. Okay, combos, combos. Ooh, 73 and counting. That's crazy. Sword just, <laughs> Sword just like, what do I do? I'm, I'm a floaty boy. I live on magic. I don't know why, man. Foxman has just been starting to do that now. Like, well, first hit fair to up air. It's just, it's, it's a good I mean, combo. if it works, it works. Yeah. Oh, God, that shield. It's just funny seeing, like, top players utilize a certain move and seeing everyone else start to do it afterwards. Ooh, Ooh. that's... Didn't get the strong hit, but uh, I don't know. That might have killed if it actually connected. Oh my goodness. That was a good Just air throwing dodge. it out. Yeah, that was a good air, air dodge, though, because that definitely could have killed Fox. I'm really liking these jab 1-2s into, like, trying to bait an option. She's like, oh, you're going to jump? Oh, up here. That's it. And, yeah, good counter. There you go. I like that. Like, Fox is up here. If you have a counter, just do that. Like, it's so free. I mean, that's true, though Sora's Counter-Strike is especially ju good just because it stops you no matter what you're doing, and you will get hit every single time if it makes contact. That catches homing attack, which <laughs> blows my mind, but uh, good for Sora for having it. Yeah, right, and right now, Fawn's running away with his lead at this point. Every single hit is just a, a, extra um, credit for her. All right. Okay. Oh, that, that was a misinput. I, th I think she was trying to do back air facing the, the ledge, but mm -hmm. it, it did it the other way. Oh my goodness. Yo, that's the second time we did that string. Okay, what do we got? Yeah, I like that patience. Oh Just waiting man, for the this, could, to come out. this could be it, depending on what you do. No, I think no uh, counter strike. No, I think that was that was good <gasps> because it was just it was too close. At oh that my point. god! <laughs> Trying to go for something flashy. Yeah. This is neck and neck right now. This could be anyone's game. Oh, that was up air. The angle that up tilt sent was perfect for landing that up air. Booting have to, having to step away for a uh, second to handle something. Perfectly no fine. Warning. Very nice. It is what it is. Ooh. The next stage will be small battlefield again. This is Fawn's pick, so that makes sense. I mean, there's nothing. There was nothing wrong with it, but we are getting a character swap. Fawn posting out the uh, dog hood. We we'll see how more uh, Elise can do with that. Two two canines coming at each other. F are foxes considered canines? I always they get are. that mixed up. Okay. 
I've heard conflicting arguments. You know, I've said this. Like, more. Uh, Elise and I. Oh both my agree lord! On this. Never mind. Match time. Spawn gets the first kill. At the, at the You're word, back on. time. Okay. Um. Well, well, we'll get you to finish your thought later, but... So it looks like Fawn went to her main character pick, you know? You stepped away for one second. And then the stock was just And gone. exploded! <laughs> That's why you folks at home, duh, don't you dare click away. You'll get hot action like that. Now it's in like under 20 seconds too, which is... Just get Zooks. Oh, here we go again. Okay. Yeah, th that's actually a true combo. If Fawn does it in a certain space, it could definitely do combo to itself. It's, I think it's worse because Fox is the fastest faller in the game. Just like, you, it's really hard for him to escape. Yeah. Okay, double spot dodge. Just, Why not? Yeah. I mean, because like, I, I get it because, you know, Fox, a lot of Fox mains will just mash like options. Good patience, shield, yeah. So. Oh, I like that. Fawn was, was ready for the up air to drop, drop Fox out of the up air. So he did it up, she did it up tilt to cover the option. But then they don't work out because Fox is up <laughs> a little too far. Okay, next. Using can to uh, drop out of the combo. Okay, so Reflect blows up the can immediately when it's flying. That's interesting. Some Reflectors are different about that. They'll like, they'll make contact with it, but it doesn't blow up immediately. Oh my god! Morning what morning happened? Says, what are you doing? <laughs> what happened? This is like a, a common Fox trope is that when people do aerials off the stage and it has fall, they end up dying. Because mm -hmm. of how fast Fox falls, and then his nair usually a lot of his aerials actually have a lot of like end lag in the air. So yeah. if you do it off stage and you fast fall, you're probably gonna die. Okay, I like that. Using nair to cover the uh, jump option. And a brisk escape using the up special. Yeah. His usage of a uh, reflector is really good to get uh, can can out of the way. Oh, we tomahawk grab. We got tomahawk grabs over here. Fire! Yeah, I think right now like Fawn's running, like, like spacing out really well. Fox. Okay. Whoa! Well, I mean, I was, yeah, I'm surprised they lived that. Fawn was just like spacing out Fox like. He's She's playing out of range where like you go react to Fox's options, but Fox can't really hit you. Did not get the regrab punish. Was aware, but just barely mistimed it. 162 to 63. This is still very heavily in um, Duck Hunt's favor, to be honest. Whoa. Trying to use a down smash to cover a grounded option. I'll be a roll. Trying to cover side B. Oh yeah. no. Yeah. I think honestly that like I think that made when Fawn did the, uh, sorry. Yeah, when Fawn did it for Smash, mm -hmm. uh, SPT thought he was probably gonna, she was probably gonna do it again. So he tried to recover in an angle where like, it'll be like just below the ledge, but I think, I think he held too low and that made him not snap the ledge, unfortunately. Granted, I think if SPT went for the high recovery, probably got stuffed out anyway. Yeah, but I mean, at that point, like I think I would have just taken the damage. Yeah. Like it's, it's but then again, maybe he just messed up and there's an angle. Yeah, that right there like also did not help matters. But uh, we are getting our first great game three of the day, I believe. Yeah, that was... Uh, yeah, see, the, the down tilt. Probably could have just used Illusion at that point, I imagine. So, I think let's see how SPT like, handles this. Um, we'll see if Fawn continues with the control of the, of the pace of the entire match. Mm -hmm. Up air, up air. Up air. First hit of up air. <laughs> Oh, reflected the, uh, Good the gunman. Good, yeah. yeah. That's what we call awareness. Uh, double up air. Who yeah, getting like, out of dodge? It looks like right now SPT is maintaining like a much better control of his match, especially because like he knows his, his first stock like the way he lost in game two. Yep. Soft hit landing there. Yeah, that the funds just doing like all, all of Fox's option coverage off stage, forcing him to recover high. Oh, okay. That was okay. <laughs> spaghetti, frankly. So I think right now, if SPT, like, just, like, 
Yeah, it's like I mean, it's difficult to kind of like kind of like outspace or like be in the mid range of of um, mm -hmm. Duck Hunt because of just what Duck Hunt can do. But <laughs> didn't I mean, get the didn't get the detonation that they wanted. But let's see what comes next. He just he just, he keeps like. Like he's going to left, he's going right, like it's going all over the stage right now. Up air. Okay, 190. Still didn't do Pause it. Out 190. Do you ever see that often? I mean, I've had it, but Sonic can't kill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. I mean, honestly, Fawn could definitely bring this back. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like just no surprises there, but I think it's really like it depends on how. Let's see how. 39, ah, 54, 63. It's climbing. Yeah. Man, that's like, that, that was some crazy shield pressure right there. Right oh. now we're just trading blows. I like that. Fawn makes up the timing of, of, of hitting the can. So it messes up uh -oh. SPT's timing of dropping the uh, reflector. That reflects the, the can. Back there, all right. You also have to be careful when using the gunman, because like if you're not on top and applying pressure, you know it can get reflected at any time, and it will kill you at this percent. But up air, also a very good kill move. <laughs> what? <laughs> Brazen. All right, now how do you recover? That was a good try to reflect Ooh. the can back to um that is going to oh no wait 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 oh wow we got a trade, like, actually died for their troubles Fawn's definitely upset about that we're gonna see what's gonna happen now i'm surprised especially if fox is false speed. i mean if fox can get in he could definitely like dish out like at least 60 percent damage at this point but right now how are you gonna get back um, to stage oh, okay missed the two frame gotta be so careful now that, honestly, that was, that was some pretty good uh, ledge options from SBT to cover all of um, Bond's options. Oh! Uh-oh. Oh. Uh -oh. This could uh, spiral out of control really fast. If, if they could get Fawn off stage, like, this, it's very doable, honestly, because Fox's back air is very powerful. Did you feel the pressure of SBT just shimmying under the platform, just like, do something? <laughs> you know you want to drop through stage. Kick the can. Do literally anything. I'll be right there. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh my what? god, he. Uh, SBT keeps missing the timing on that floor smash. Heart the, racing. I, I could, I could oh, no. tell they're both nervous right now. The next, like, major whiff will probably decide the set. Fox is off stage. What is Fawn gonna do? Sliding in the two the frames. Stage. Oh, Wait. That, that was all right. Yeah, I mean SBT that was did. very, very close. Especially no, yeah. when that first there didn't seal it out. But ultimately, the set going to Fawn. Yeah, SBT did pretty well, like just dodging the can. But Fawn was just ready for every option that he's he's gonna do to land. Let's see this one. Yep, already committed to the back air. <laughs> that slow at, motion. Look at Fox's face. Right here. Right there. Bam. Yeah, you, you definitely committed to something. Look at his face. Look at that poor dog. How could this happen to me? Look at that dog. <laughs> but that is going to be it from us, or at least from me, because I have to go play my sets. Thank you all for tuning in. There's more action to come. If you've enjoyed my commentary today, I have been Sonic Fiend FGC right down here. And where can they find you? Good sir. Oh, my Twitter is right there. They, they see it. They'll be, they'll be fine. So we will leave you in the hands of other great casters, and I will see you all next time. Have a great night, everybody.